hello everyone this is asmr today welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorial today i'll show you how to edit photo now some of my fans uh, on my facebook and uh, the social medias uh, just uh, wanted to know that uh, how to edit the photo like the camera calibration and uh, the uh, low saturated green and uh, the um, just uh, hue and uh, actually the uh, work of the green color so i'm making this video for them so hope that you will enjoy okay let's start i'm going to the file and then open i just downloaded a photo which is from the devina.com i'll give you the download link of this image and i'm just opening up this one and uh, the simona lawn uh, he or she is the photographer of this photo and all credit goes to him or her and i appreciate that uh, I'll give the photo credit of this photo. Okay, I'm not removing this one. It will. I'll keep that. Okay. After that, uh, I'm making a just a copy of this layer by pressing Ctrl J, or just you can drag it and drop this one, and you'll get a new layer. After that, I'll make another two copies by pressing J and J. And this one is the main copy and other two things that is the d d for dodge and b b for burn i'll drag this b in a lower side of the d and turning off the d options d layer actually and b layer i'll just go to the blending mode and make it a skin actually i'm working with the dodge burn at first then i'll work with the camera raw filter and uh, work with a green color the low saturated but uh, the hue the uh, contrast and everything okay let's see after that just making it skin i'm going to the blending mode or blending options actually and i'll get a slider over there and i'll slide this one and when i'll get the highlighted area of this face i'll leave it and press the alter button and divide this slider and adjust with the light okay and hit the ok button after that mask this one go to the image and apply image and hit ok after that select this delay turn it on and making the blending mode in a multiply and after that go to the blending options and slide at this slide and find out the shadow areas and press the alter button and divide this slider and just adjust the shadow with the face and hit the ok same process mask it and go to the image and apply image in this case just tick the invert option and hit ok select this two layer make it group make it mask and go to the image and apply image uncheck the invert option and hit ok you'll get a subtle change and the dodge burn in the face it's necessary for the picture okay i'm selecting this two layer making it group making it march after that go to the filter and camera filter after going camera filter i'll do color correction actually at first i'll go to the hsl from the hsl i'll down the green saturation luminance actually and the saturation i'll desaturate this one after that i'll go to the hue and give some hue like that okay and then i'll go to the camera calibration directly and work with the primary green color okay and the primary blue color actually like that yeah and the green gives the saturation of green and then the primary red I will work with it yes like that yeah and down the saturation of primary green hue and okay that's good and go to the hsl again uh, face color just like uh, yellowish that's why i'll increase the luminance little bit of orange and is the increase the saturation the orange color and increase the red saturation and luminance i'll down and go to the shadow and highlight it and this one is the basic panel highlight it i'll de highlight this one add some shadows add some just decrease some blacks add some whites like that okay that's good 
and I'll make it cool like that add some exposure a little bit okay after that add some variance actually I'll decrease the variance and increase the saturation okay and after that from the HSL I'll add the green luminance actually and hue I'll work with the hue this one okay that's good from the luminance I'll increase the blue luminance decrease the red actually I should give some luminance of red and the yellow I'll just add some yellow luminance and desaturate the yellow just because of the face is too much yellowish and hit the ok button you'll get a change hues change the hue saturation uh, hue, hue of the just uh, green and then I'll go to the curves from the curves I'll just select the green option you can change green like that yeah a little bit you have to be careful okay after that again I'll go to the blue and add some blue like that and decrease the here just like that and then the red the red option I will give it down give some like that okay after that select the mask I'll just add just the face just because the face is too much yellowish that's why it's, uh, this one is white and reset this one and make it black and go to the brush tool take the first brush the hardness 0% and 155 that's good and just zoom in and brush over on the face yeah that's good and after that go to the color lookup options and just horror blue color from the horror blue color just decrease the fill like that and just select this mask and down the flow and opacity and just brush on the face okay that's good and select these three things and make it march after making it march go to the filter and the nick collection color effects pro from the color effects pro i will add some just effect which is uh, necessary for this effect and here is i am using the cross processing filters and lots of filter over there you can use one of that filter which is necessary or which is the perfect for this this one is perfect for this and hit ok it's taking time and loading okay okay it's already just loading done and then go to the filter again and camera raw filter from the camera raw filter i'll just add some shadow and give just down the highlight add some exposure and contrast i'll give some contrast and clarity i'll give some three or four percent variance i'll down give some saturation and directly i'll go to the hsl and just decrease the yellow color and add some luminance of yellow add some just orange luminance decrease the red and increase the just luminance of green and saturation i'll down the green a little bit and from the hue I'll work with it okay yes that's good and again camera calibration from the camera calibration I'll make it like that and the primary green will work with like that minus 24 minus 29 and primary red color to like that and from the effect option you can just work with like that is this one and hit ok and after that from the curves go to the curves and RGB select here and just give some drama yes this is a dramatic look actually the hue saturation hue of a green and to work with that and then I'll go to the color balance from the cyan I'll give some like that man plus 7 plus 3 and yellow I'll 
add like that okay that's good and select all the things make it group make it merge after making it merge if you want to increase the uh, sharpness of this one select just make another copy and make it uh, vivid light after that go to the filter and then other then high pass and don't give too much give 0.5 or 0.2 that's good uh, 0.3 is good when you are getting some just line in a ash color background then you leave it and hit the play button you will get a uh, just uh, extra sharpness in your photo and just make it group make it match okay let's see what was our previous image this one was our previous image and now after you did this one you are getting the low saturated green and the red and uh, light vsco effect or vintage effect or this kind of camera calibration effect whatever you can tell this one is now trained in running in our time so thank you so much thanks for watching my video tutorial don't forget to subscribe my channel and share with your friend if you have any kind of question or query please do comment in my video comment section so you are just subscribing my channel if you are not subscribed my channel you are not getting uh, updated video in future so thank you so much share with your friend tell your friend that uh, you are doing like that and i am asmr if today signing out and till the next video bye bye